Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Josh Kozchek. He's facing Matt Hughes at UFC 135. And Josh, Matt has said this could be his last fight. We'll decide afterwards. But how would you feel about retiring, basically, a Hall of Famer? Yeah, it'd be a good fight. You know, uh, I, I don't have anything personally against Matt Hughes. I think that, uh, you know, he, he's been around for a long time. He's, uh, he's done a lot of good things for this sport. And, you know, uh, uh, whether it be Matt Hughes' last fight or not, doesn't matter to me. I, I just want to go into this fight and uh, show the fans and show the UFC that uh, I'm back and I, I can, you know, still do this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're saying that you're back after the GSP fight. People are maybe thinking you might be a little timid about getting jabbed. I mean, because after the surgery and everything, you look fine. You don't look like there's anything wrong. But how, how do you feel and, and how can you answer that? Yeah, there's there's going to be no timidness here. You know, uh, I've been sparring with a lot of great guys in the gym and, uh, you know, get hit with, you know, punches by, you know, King Mo and, and Luke Rockholt and, you know, uh, Fitch and all those guys in the gym that I train with on a daily basis. You, you, you know, I'm fighting three times a week, you know, in, in our gym. So, um, you know, the, people have got to understand that, you know, if you ever come to AKA, you'll, you'll, you'll get to see the true, uh, the true training that we do and, and, and how hard it is. And, um, you know, I have no, uh, no second guesses that I'm going in there and, and, and I'm not going to be afraid to take punches, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. You joked at the press conference that 19 days wasn't enough time to start a beef, which I thought was very funny, but do you like to fight guys that you don't like or, or, or do you, you know, does it add an extra little bit of fire under your butt? Well, come Saturday night when I step into the cage, I'm not going to like Matthews, that's for sure. Um, you know, so, and, and that's what it is every time. Uh, whether it just be a little drama coming into the fight or, or not, doesn't, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's creates a little bit more buzz and, and a lot more uh, attention on the fight, but I don't think this fight needs it. You know, you have two guys that's been around for a long time, uh, two good wrestlers, and uh, one's a Hall of Famer. So I, I don't think this fight needs it. You know, it, 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 this fight will sell itself. The division is looking really good these days. I know you talked about moving up to 185, but what you make of the Jake Shields, Jake Ellenberger fight? Jake Ellenberger seems to really be putting himself on the map. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a young kid, and, uh, you know, he's, uh, he, it was a great win for him. I think, uh, you know, uh, Definitely, a, definitely a, a future fight down the road, possibly for for some of the guys from AK, myself, and you know Fitch, and possibly Swick. You know, he he's a tough young kid, and I think, uh, yeah, I think it'd be a you know definitely a, something that uh, I'm sure that'll come our way soon. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I know he's the type of guy that would call you out. You know what I mean? He'd be gunning for you. I bet. Huh? And last question for me, though, is um, they say you don't have a nickname. I, I'm working on the Mulatto Marauder, because I remember you told me you're okay with the word Mulatto, which I am not. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I prefer Molly myself, you know, so <laughs> it's all good, though. I, I, I actually got a, a nickname that I, I won't say because of my PlayStation name and, and all the, the, the gaming that I do, um, yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll keep that into ourselves. Maybe, well, maybe when I'm done fighting, I'll, uh, I'll let you know what that name is. All right, Josh. Thanks a lot. Good luck to you. Thank you. That's great. Um,